Hello humans and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. Today a quick reaction. I'm reacting to Carl Jobs' video right now regarding the completionist and his charity set up by him and his brother allegedly. And I'm watching this video and I got sick. I had to re-record it because I got one of the dates wrong, which is that he got notified according to him, it looks like, in 2021 that nothing was being done with the money. However, they've been raising money for years, claiming that they've been helping in many ways, whether it's universities or what have you, um, distribute this money for the purposes of what they collected. You know, it's, it's very hard that this guy uh, look at people in the eye again, right? You know, this is part of the problem with the retro game community. This is really what has ruined a lot of the retro scene, and, and it's just money. Right? It's money. It's people getting money that don't know what to do with it. It's people... Uh, getting money, not being completely honest with their audiences. Uh, in no way, this gentleman, given what's filed with the government, if Carl is to be believed, should have been making those statements. Now that he wasn't aware until 2021 is something that it's very hard for me to believe, given that uh, you know he set up this this with his family. I, I don't think anybody's going to buy that. This man has accomplished something that is very hard to do, right? If you were to have $100, who would you trust more with it? Him or DSP? You know, I'd rather have <laughs> honest disappointment. I'd rather have DSP, you know, just take it because I know all he's going to do is uh, go in WWE champions, right? This guy is going to tell you he's going to use it for charity and then stash it in the bank in this, in this enterprise. Now, they're claiming they still have the money. Hopefully, that's the truth. Because if it's not, right, depending where they set these uh, charities, there could be some consequences, right? Now, it looks like Carl, and I'm going to put a link down below to his video, has gotten the information filed with the government on this, on this charity, which has documented not to give any money out. They're just taking money, uh, money for expenses. You, he has a very detailed breakdown of what happened. But when you hear what happened, it's going to sicken you to your stomach, right? How is this dude right here collecting for, you know, these foundations, putting so, them thanking in them for their gift and doing all this stuff. And at the same time, was it three years ago? This dude was claiming he wasn't making enough money, right? From reviewing the games or whatever. It sickens you, right? I mean, this guy to me, personally, is worse than Boogie, worse than Wings, worse than DSP. At least from those guys, you get some comedy. From this, it's absolute horseshit. I mean, he's collecting money saying that it's going to be donated. He's claiming that it's helping, currently helping uh, X, Y, and Z entities, and they weren't. The money is sitting in the bank, hopefully. Hopefully, right? Because if it's not... Let's put a hypothetical here. Let's say you started a charity and you took in money and you're telling people that you've donated. Again, hypothetically, right? Not talking about this case. And you filed everything, but, you know, the money really isn't there. You're going to have to back it up with some hard facts, especially if people get upset and start making inquiries in your state. Now, don't think that the IRS or the state or anybody jumps in to these charities, uh, you know, just because they filed in, uh, a tax filing. They don't. Somebody has to report it usually, right? And they have to get audited. That's the way usually they get caught. But when they do and so, you know, their shenanigans, there's a huge price to pay. Now, hopefully we, you know, this money is still sitting there and, it, and it's, you know, they should give it to, to whoever. I mean, the fact that this guy claims that that they haven't given the money because they can't find any who, who meets their requirements? Universities? What about the Red Cross? I mean, I can think about a hundred different entities that could use this money that'd be better used than sitting in the bank. You're talking about, what, $600,000 over half a million? It is sickening. And you know what? Probably the, the most sickening part is there's going to be idiots out there, right? Whether they're sucking on this guy's teat or not, if they're on the payroll or not. But there's going to be fans out there that based on all the videos, they're going to give them a pass. You know, and, and just 
utter horseshit. I mean, <laughs> I hope, I hope they make an example out of this guy, right? Uh, for this kind of lying, if, if you're taking in money and you're telling people that it's going to be used for this, that you don't keep any of it and it goes straight to them. Well, it didn't go straight to them because it's sitting in bank accounts. The excuses that they're going to make will only sound good to them because it will sound good to no one else. These people have made DSP, Wings, Boogie, and every other e-beggar out there look better, right? These guys are worse. As a matter of fact, if you have a dollar you want to give it, <laughs> you know, if it's between giving it to these guys, uh, these other guys, or burning it, probably you'd be better off burning it. <laughs> or give it to your Red Cross better. Oh, my God. But, you know, it's like every year there's somebody. Every year somebody comes up with some bullshit. Every year there's somebody out there with a story. Every year there's somebody out there spending money that they don't know how to spend. And what did you think? I mean, does this guy look like a financial genius here? Just because he reviews video games, you think he can run a charity? These guys look like they should be smoking weed and eating pizza in front of the TV. Are they great entertainers? Sure. Sure, great entertainers. That doesn't shield them for criticism, and that doesn't shield them from not donating the money they took in, promising people that were, they were going to help other people. And the most sickening part is that this is what? Because of his mom or, you know, parent dying? This is sickening in so many levels, guys. This is the culture of YouTube. This is the culture of the retro gaming community. This is why this place is so freaking toxic now. Because they've taken something that we love, they've taken that nostalgia, and just shit on it completely by doing this kind of shady shit. You know, I hope that the money's still there. I hope that they donate it as soon as possible. But nobody should ever look at these people with any type of integrity after this. I sure as hell won't. I wasn't a, content, a fan of his content before. And sure as hell now, not going to be a fan of his content. The only thing I wish he complete is some sort of community service program after the state gets involved, hopefully. But this is just sickening, guys. Go watch the video by Carl. He breaks it down. It's really good. I'm going to put a link down below. And man, this is just another nail in the coffin just to show you what retro YouTube has become over the years. I mean... It is just a shithole for scammers. That's exactly what it's become. And every year, it just gets worse. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.